مرحبا السلام عليكم يا ساس نيحاو هلو It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning to listen to your heart's desire and purchase what God has shown us It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat Al-Mal First on our exclusive captivating list of exotic odds and ends we have a stunning statue from India made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans it will be a perfect addition to any home Oh hmm. what do we have one bidder already no two calling once twice a third would anyone like to best that price No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible. And even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? W- one for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning, the treasurer. Th- two. Any others? Hmm. We have a third there. Ho, oh, two owns it again. Number three. What will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? reach into your heart listen to your desire hmm no one then sold to the handsome bearded man this hairpin belongs to you now said now for the third item And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. appointment with the treasurer move aside apologies my instructions were clear no brooch no entry do you know who i am i need to speak to the treasurer i was called summoned assalamu alaikum i'm here to see the treasurer on what business i have a gift for the treasurer if she will see me Only members of the Ivory Coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. Like a long, shiny star against a dark night. If only I could speak to her. I hear only members of the merchant guild in the chamber. Well, maybe if I found out where she purchased her robe or her beautiful fan.
With respect, that does not entitle you to three bags of saffron, to a vanilla and a bottle of honey without a single coin. Impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time. Hello? Trouble with customers. No more than usual. These people from the ivory coin think themselves touched by God himself. The ivory coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Whatever you know can help me. Well, it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the Ivory Coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> Have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Karch. Thank you. Hello, spices for you? No brooch, no entry. You know how this works. Yes, but I left my brooch in there. Do you not see the problem here? No brooch, no entry. La'anak Allah. Hold on. An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. The Chamber of Antiquities is the treasurer's haven. I need to find a way in. Agreed. What was that? But keep your blade close to hand. Hey! Uh. Hey, not like what's that? Going to get the drop on you anyway. Hey! Oh. <sighs> this must be the ivory coin's brooch. Shiny. I have both trinkets. The guard will have to let me in now. Assalamu alaikum. You again. What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter. This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. This is of inferior make. I wonder if you see the expert claim to be. This place is a high place. I swear it. Treasurer, Ning, if only you... But get the plague out of my sight. Perhaps the dogs and the soup can use it for their meals. The standards are too high. One has to be careful not to get bitten in there. Please refrain from speaking about the treasure inappropriately. You may enter.
You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. Is it? Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No, but I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn... Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly, Alone. Turn to the bureau. The treasurer! She's dead! The guards! Help! Treasurer! That's it! Hear that crash!
Alive, we talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes, wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> 